Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up. We've got another review for you today, this time of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. And this review was written for us by Asdin over at Grinning Wolf Games. So thank you very much to you, Asdin. Please do check out his channel. Link is in the top pinned comment. As we patiently wait to see if Atlas will release any of the mainland Persona games onto the Nintendo Switch, in the meantime we have been given other examples of the Persona and of course the Shin Megami Tensei series. We now have the 2014 port of the visual novel fighting game. With plenty of story and gameplay, is this truly the Ultimax fighting experience or has it become a Persona non grata? Well thank you to Sega for the review code and now let's find out. The events depicted here pick up just after the previous Arena game finishes, meaning that Arena Ultimax is also set in May 2012. The heroes are still searching for the mysterious force behind everything that's happened and while their hunt continues, the Midnight Channel begins to air once again in the town of Inaba. Now set in the real world, the insanity has reached all new heights, the P1 Climax is ready to be revealed. The story which also continues events from Persona 4 is beautifully illustrated, albeit with pretty long text segments. There are points in the game that will drive the story forward by means of anime shorts of which the series is known. I felt pretty lost I must admit as I did not play any of the previous installments and found myself trying to keep up with a story that felt a bit like filler for the events of the gameplay. In terms of the gameplay then, this is a 2D fighting game with visual novel elements in between. It includes a total of 22 characters in its roster from both Persona 3 and 4. There are a number of different story modes as well as different battle modes. The story mode will see you battle different characters with an intermission to follow afterwards bringing the visual novel aspects into the game. There are also four different battle modes. These are arcade mode, a score attack mode, versus mode to play against another player or computer player offline, and lastly there is golden arena mode, which functions as a boss rush RPG where accumulating experience points after battles can be used to bolster your character's stats. I personally found this a better alternative to the main story mode, even if a single defeat did mean game over. There is an option to play online, although I wasn't able to try it. This version of the game has no rollback netcode, which means that lag and latency could potentially be more apparent in this version. All characters are partnered with a persona, which is an avatar projected from one's inner self that resemble mythological figures and represent the facades worn by individuals to face life's hardships. They work to an extent as the asset characters that jump into the fray as we have seen in games such as Marvel vs Capcom for example, except they are fully integrated with the character. They also have a weak and strong button mapped to the controller, meaning that you can strike your opponent almost simultaneously. These cannot be spammed as they do have a small cooldown period, especially when carrying out stronger attacks. There is a lot of depth to the game's battle mechanics. At the bottom of the screen you will see your SP gauge which will fill up as you take damage and this will allow you to pull off some strong and flashy special moves. There are reversal moves and counters to name a few. Those who invest the time and effort into the game will reap the rewards for sure. Being a fighting game the controls need to have a certain weight to them as well as ease of input. Needless to say, they are very responsive and tight, although I suggest you play with a controller that has a D-pad unless you feel comfortable inputting quarter circles with the left stick. A command list is just a pause button away should you need this too. Virtually all characters share the same input commands to carry out their moves, although with different results. This makes the game a lot more accessible and encourages experimentation with different fighters. There is a good amount of content here for those that love the Persona series and fighting games, but what lets the gameplay down is how the story is delivered. Fighting games are renowned for their thin storylines, used more as a means to bond the gameplay together, and here there is a deep well of knowledge to attain if you put in the hours upon hours of visual novel text screens. But this could have been done with better execution in regards to bringing newcomers up to speed. The core strength is within the fighting aspect of the game though, and the number of different modes that accommodate it, and on this strength gameplay gets 16 out of 20. Controls are extremely sound, offering a variety of ways to carry out different commands as well as the ability to map buttons as you please. It's also refreshing to pick up a game that is accessible when it comes to pulling off special attacks with the majority sharing the same button inputs. Controls score 17 out of 20. 
When it comes to the visuals, a lot of detail has definitely gone into the presentation of this game, where even the menu screen has its own style. It runs very smoothly, both in docked and handheld, with no noticeable lag or frame drops. All of the characters and their respective personas stand out from each other thanks to the sleek and expressive style of Shigenori Sojima. This has become synonymous with the franchise over the years. Special attention has gone to some of the character's ultimate finishes, which are especially jaw-dropping and over the top. Although the visual novel sections are virtually static, the backgrounds are pretty detailed, if not a tad repetitive. It was great to see some animated story segments which really give a sense that you are watching an anime. As with everything, the art direction will not be to everyone's liking, but the quality of the visuals is definitely of a high standard. The soundtrack is full of bombastic rock and punk songs and some more relaxed versions during the visual novel sections. There is a lot of voice acting in the game which can be changed from English to Japanese if you wish. The special effects have a repertoire of sounds attached to them, making each blow given and received all the more impactful, which when paired with the fast-paced visuals, creates an overwhelming sensory barrage that elevates the tension of the battles. Presentation is rich and vibrant, and everything looks incredibly smooth. A few more animated story sections, especially catered for newcomers, may have helped, but even with that said, visuals are of a high standard, and they score 18 out of 20. The high octane soundtrack and voice acting are of an acquired taste, but they do not let the game down, and they also score 18 out of 20. Persona 4 Arena Ultimax costs £24.99, and regional equivalents are on your screen now. There are physical versions available to import, but sadly, they do not have an English language option. The game is pretty chock full, including all previously released content for Arena Ultimax and the original Persona 4 Arena story, and I'm sure fans of the series will no doubt enjoy having a Persona fighting game in their collection. I will temper this by saying that the game did of course initially release back in 2014, and some may feel that £25 is too much for a digital version of an 8 year old game. This and the inaccessibility of the story segments to newcomers do harm the score slightly, but value still scores 16 out of 20. To conclude, Atlas are trickling the Persona series onto the Nintendo Switch, and although it's the release of Persona 5 that would have blown most people away I'm sure, this is still a very good fighting game to consider for your collection. Yes, the story narration is a bit of a mess to all but hardened fans, but generally you're not buying a fighting game for the tale it tells. They are purchased, of course, to sink countless hours into fighting anyone that stands between you and glory, of which this game has in abundance. With tight controls and great presentation, this blast from the past proves that some games deserve to be broken free from the shackles of time and enjoyed by veterans and newcomers alike. Persona 4 Arena Ultimax gets a switch up score of 85%. Thank you everybody for watching this review, I hope you enjoyed it, please do remember to leave a like if you did. Another big thank you to Asdin of course for writing this one for us, and again please do check out his channel, link is in the top pinned comment. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support, and to each and every one of you for watching our videos, take care and until next time, happy gaming.